Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I pray that y'all are having a blessed day. So, you know, as I'm reading my Bible, um, I just actually finished fasting for the Lord because I need direction in a certain season. And I was asking the Lord for direction of, you know how these all these people say that women can't do ministry or we can't preach or teach on the Bible. So I was asking for direction in that. And those are separate videos. Um... I will be doing later on. I'm not sure if this week, but as I'm reading the Bible, I noticed that God has a lot of servants, right? That he calls on to help him in this world, right? So I'm going to ask you this question. Are you a servant of the Lord or are you a servant and slave of the enemy? Okay, because being a servant to God means that you are going to walk in kindness, love, have no judgment. You know what I mean? Love thy neighbor like the commandments, right? We are here to serve ourselves and others with kindness. Whatever position it may be, whatever whatever area we may be in life, right? That's what we are on this earth to do, right? Or are you a servant and a slave to the enemy, right? Because the enemy wants you to think that if you do this and that right that money is going to make you happy materialistics is going to make you happy that fame is going to make you happy right it's like when eve ate the poison apple she ate it because it looked desirable the lust it looked delicious right so the enemy fooled her in that right and the enemy does the same thing on this earth right so are you a servant of the lord or a servant and slave to the enemy, right? You know, I'm not selling the hol I'm not selling these ho some bleh, bleh, <laughs> celebrating these holidays like I used to, right? Um, but I am celebrating them. But as I'm in these stores, I notice, um, you know, massive like shopping carts. And I, I overheard this one couple be like, "Oh, we'll just charge it to the credit card and pay it off," right? Because that's what this world wants us to do. We, they want us to be in debt, right? Um, they want us to work so hard that we have to continue working hard, even in our old age, right? We, we're not taught in school financial, you know, the financial as aspect of living, right? Um, and I learned that the hard way. At one time in my life, I was almost 40 grand in debt, right? And it took me about nine years to get out of that. Um, you know, we walked into a lot a, um a loan corporation today and said we need a loan for poverty do you think they're going to give us a loan no right no because but if we walked in alone in um a loan corporation and asked hey we we need a loan and it's for presents or something we're most likely to get approved on our based off our credit right because they want our minds to be tainted they want us to be a slavery to the system right um but because by giving loans out it real it accumulates money for them right it benefits their business um i just encourage you any decision making you are going to have i encourage you to be in touch with the lord right be in touch with the lord first of all right and i encourage you to ask yourself to be in touch with yourself right the process of it am i doing this because it is going to benefit me or I'm, am I acting on this because it's going to benefit and please another, right? So that's the kind of mentality that we need to have in these days, right? Because yes, a recession may come. Yes, inflammation may be here, but we don't have to be a part of that if, if we know self-control, right? And then, of course, you got to act on the decision, right? Um, I always am going to say is pray on the decision. Pray on your decision that you make, right? And then execute your decision. You know, Jesus loves you very much. Jesus loves you very much. And you have more strength and you are more powerful than you believe. I pray you believe that. Have a beautiful, blessed day.